Good day taps. So today's video is going to cover a new announcement from World of Tanks with the Charlemagne. So let's take a look at this design in depth. The Charlemagne, named after the Western Roman Emperor who united much of Europe, was a design from the British School of Tank Technology, STT, alongside the Royal College of Military Science. To design a new medium gun tank, mounting a 120mm low velocity gun with a ranging machine gun. The required gun's effectiveness and armour immunity were to exceed all of those in service, yet it was expected that the team would also find weight savings over current vehicles and a decrease in comparative size too, and set to building a tank that weighed 30 tonnes. The designers wanted to utilise new thoughts in armour layout, admittedly looking at Soviet vehicles for inspiration, but to also keep the conventional British practice in internal layout and internal volume where possible. The final layout was quite conventional. The driver was front and centre, commander and gunner to the right, and a loader to the left. And except the driver, all crewmen were located within a fully rotating fighting compartment. The engine was placed to the rear, powering movement through sprockets. One observation that does draw interest is the driver is in a reclined position, a concept that predates work done later on the FV4202 project. The vehicle is also unique in not having a driver's periscope or obvious hatch, and instead the vision is done through side-mounted mirrors on either side of the hull front, leaving no obvious weak spots. A flat emergency plate was added on top for escape, however this could be easily blocked by the gun. The Charlemagne design was to mount a 120mm low velocity gun at around 2000 foot per second or 609 meters per second, rigidly mounted to the turret front to prevent recoil on firing. The UK did successfully test rigid gun mountings on other vehicles, notably a 32 pounder rigidly mounted onto a Centurion turret. The main shell type for Charlemagne, of which 60 rounds were carried and of a bag charge type, was high explosive squash head, or HESH, able to defeat 150mm armour plate at 50 degrees. The main gun was power controlled and stabilised in both axes, and the loader had a ramming assistant to help him. Despite the rigid mounting, the gun depression was still a respectable minus 10 degrees, while the rate of fire was expected to be 10 rounds per minute for the first minute, then 6 rounds a minute after that. It was believed that a 76% chance of the first round hitting at 2,000 yards or 1.8 kilometers could be achieved. Due to the gun's low pressure, it was unable to fire APDS, and you'd need to be a bit thick to even suggest it could. Two 30 caliber machine guns were also to be carried, in addition to the ranging machine gun. One mounted coaxially with the main armament, while the other was to be fitted to the commander's cupola. 40 belts of spare ammunition were also to be carried. The armour over the frontal arc of the vehicle was calculated to afford the Charlemagne protection against the Soviet 100mm anti-tank round of the day at 700 yards, or 640 metres, which could perforate up to 200mm of plate. This armour was an all-welded steel throughout, with an all-or-nothing seam, the front being very heavily protected for its time, but the sides and rear having just enough to stop .50s, small arms and shell splinters. To achieve the specifications required, the following armour layouts were used, and, like the turret, certainly had a Soviet influence about them, with a pike nose design. Although this was later to be found an ineffective way of placing armour, the entire front, including the lower plate, were all at least 235mm thick after angling was taken into effect. The team designing the Charlemagne evaluated nine engines available to them at the time. These were as follows. The unit chosen was the Rover Meteorite Mark 202B petrol injected engine. This engine had been adopted as an interim solution until a more powerful and compact multi-fuel engine had been developed, which would have almost inevitably been the Leyland L60 multi-fuel engine, which went on to have a rather infamous career in the Chieftain. The Meteorite Mark 202B was reported at 585 brake horsepower, coupled through a Merritt Brown V52 gearbox for a top speed of 45 km an hour or 28 miles per hour. The suspension was provided via horizontal helical spring HHS system 
to six 24-inch diameter road wheels on either side, and the track was to be the same as used on the British Comet medium tank, which was supported on three 11-inch diameter return rollers. The Charlemagne is an interesting idea. It was dated 1958, and some aspects would go on to become standard in most tanks today, such as the reclining driver's position. The use of a rigid gun is also an effective idea, however later armors would have rendered it very ineffective. But it was a good way to reduce the weight and size, but not lose internal volume. The project remained an STT project, and would never go any further than workbooks, plans and a model. But does show alternative thinking and a fresh approach to ideas in an industry that can become stale and repetitive at times. Well guys, if you like that, let us know below. If you have more questions, do come and join our Discord where we talk about all sorts of bollocks, but mostly tanks. And do give us a like and subscribe. And until next time, toodle pip.